hello guys welcome to today's video so today is this a continuation of a video i created so this is a loading page i've created already and if this is your first time seeing this video there's a link to this video how i created this loading page from scratch there's a link in the description you can check it out we created this loading page from scratch to where it is now so in this video since we've already created the loading page in the other video i promise to connect this page this loading page to another page so that immediately you can see right now this the loading page is not doing anything it loads to 100 percent then it stays there so what you want to do is you want immediately the page loads to 100 percent you want another page to pop up so that's what you are going to do here so i have a login page here as well that i've already done a video on it as well there's also a link in the description to this login page so you can also check it out we created it from scratch this is a nice and beautiful login page you just created yeah everything is here nicely as you can see you can check it out as well there's a link in the description as well if you want to check it out so since we have these two pages let's try and link it together so now let's get back to our loading page so in our loading page let's quickly come back to the top here let's import the login page here so import login page so as you can see this is the name of my python file my login page so i'm importing it into this file into the loading page file so let's quickly come to the down here and create function so let's define so let's name this top let's say top and let's assign this top to top level so top level so as you can see what top level means is top level allows another page it allows another page to pop up as a top level so let's say we display a page we want another page to pop up on top of that page that's what that top level means you have tk raise a lot of them so top level is a function that allows another page to pop up on another page so that's what top level means here so we want our login page to pop up on the loading page as soon as the loading page finishes loading so that's why we are assigning this top to to a top level here so let's come back to the next line now let's call since we imported our login page inside our loading page let's call our login page here so by calling our login page let's say let's go call our login page dot login page here they will assign it to me so what this means that okay this login page here is the name of the pattern file login page dot login page this login page again inside our login page folder let's come back to the top here's our class we class login page so we are calling this function with this class function here named login page so and the name of the pattern file is login page and the name of this class is login page so let's say this let's say we have something called login it's going to be login page dot login so this is login page dot this login page which is the name of the class here so this class contains the whole page the whole login page here so that's what this means so don't get don't get confused here don't get confused so this is 
login page the name of our pattern for our login page and the login page the name of the function inside the login page file so let's now assign win to let's say let's say we draw I think this is this should be the root. Then win dot deconify. <laughs> so what this withdraw means is that as soon as the we call our login page the loading page in the background we quickly withdraw from the background and allow the login page to pop up as a top level so when we call our login page the root root represents the loading page here remember we assign root to our loading page in the previous video so root represent the loading page and win now we are assigning win to the login page we know we are assigning win here to the login page here so the root dot the loading page will withdraw from the background and the login page will deconify and appear as a top level so that's what this means here so now since we have our top function here let's quickly come under our load here and under here let's now this is an if function i hope by now you know if and else and all those so now this if function is going to be this is what is going to be loading loading the app to get 100 percent so what you want to do is that we are going to say when this loads we are using the s function they are going to call the top remember our top is what is going to pop up our loading page inside this function and this load here is what is loading what is going to load to get to 100 percent so what you are saying that when the if function runs and get to 100 percent don't let it stop there view after it ends then run the loading page and the loading page is going to pop up as a top level so let's let's run it and see if it's working first Okay, I think since we call the login page inside the loading page, we need to run the loading page. So let's wait for it to load and see. Okay, so here we go. Now our login page pops up. I think it's it's running a little bit slower so let's reduce it so let's say 900 i'll say 800 so like i said we've already created this loading page from scratch the login page also i've already created it from scratch links to all those videos are in the description you can check it out if you want to know how I created the login page from scratch and the loading page from scratch, all of them have their link in the description. I check it out as well. So let's run it again and see. So as you can see, it's running a little faster than the first time. Now, now then we get to 100%. It pops pop up our login page here. So everything is working here. Fine, everything. I have a show password. Yeah, this is working. They had the high password. You can see the I have been cancelled. 
and it comes and the login so everything is working fine yeah as well so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like this video thank you for watching once again